Are you tired of running out of space on your shelves for your mangas? Yeah. Well then, stay tuned for this video. All right. Well, let's be honest, guys. You heard from that little clip. Um, you're probably here because you are running out of space on your manga shelves. Well, I got this little solution, and I hope it works out for you. So, pretty much bookshelf risers. You can easily go on Amazon, and you can easily just buy one. Well, that's what I did for my uh, girlfriend, for her books. But then it kind of got me thinking that, what if I just made one out of cardboard? Which, at least for manga's sake, it'll probably be a lot better than, you know, stacking on like really big, thick, you know, hardcover books. And um, honestly, it turned out a lot better than I thought it would. So here's a little DIY tutorial, whatever you want to call it, on how to make one out of cardboard. Roll the clip. As you can see on the measurements, these are the measurements I chose to do for the depth of the manga bookshelf riser. Now this can be varied to any size, length, or width, or whatever. I just chose to do five inches, plus the three inch um, steps that I'm willing to do for supports. Pretty much just hot glue it. I mean, hot glue it really good, put a lot of it on there, front to back, in the middle. I ended up doing another one for, again, better support. And if it's not even, that's fine. It doesn't have to be perfect. But now what we need to do is put some middle supports in because if we don't, everything would just cave in. So I ended up double layering it, doing a nice triangular shape, and then like just one piece in the middle. Now it's got a good hold to it, put a little pressure. Don't put a lot, because otherwise you're just gonna break it right away. As you can see, mine can hold my coffee cup that's full, so. And then basically, we're pretty much golden there, Pony Boy, because um, as you can see in my picture right here, that's with the, um, you know, what it shows. And again, it doesn't have to look pretty or perfect as long as it holds, because your books are just gonna be covering it anyway. So, and then here is the kind of final product. I mean, I'm gonna be filling in the Monster Mazume a little bit more. I still have two more volumes to read and then can't wait for 17 to come out. So, so yeah, that's my little tutorial on this. And you know what? Cardboard, it's easy to come by, you know? You order stuff all the time. So that's free cardboard right there. Or in my case, um, I have nothing to better do at work. So I cut out the cardboard there. But you know what? What's one piece of cardboard they're not gonna miss? So. Oh, hopefully they don't find this video and find out, but I highly doubt that. So, I hope this helped you a lot. It sure as heck helps me a lot. And I hope everyone has a great one. Goodbye.